Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 73. Uh, as always, thanks for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching these videos. Uh, and thank you for all the great feedback. It is a pleasure to be able to bring these to you. Today's tip is going to be a very short one, and uh, I think one that is likely to have been fairly obvious to most, but I thought it was cool when I found it. This is what happens when you uh, don't use Source Filmmaker for a few months. They release a bunch of updates, and they make it cooler, and I get to find all these new, new and cool little features. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how you can uh, very easily add all of the cool uh, TF2 items in your, from your favorite hat simulator, Team Fortress 2. What I've got here is an engineer uh, that I have spawned in uh, stage.bsp. Also, by the way, just as an aside, I get asked a lot what map this is. This is called stage.bsp, and it's included with Source Filmmaker. So if you're wondering, you can you can load it yourself. There's nothing special to it. So to, uh, uh, to add Team Fortress 2 items to a model, first you spawn the model, of course, uh, and then you'll just right-click the animation set for the model, and near the bottom of the menu, uh, third up, is Add Team Fortress Item. And then you get this entire list of all of these items. So if you want to create a model with the ESL Season 6 Division 2 third place badge, you can do that. There's a lot of those. Uh, somewhere, I've actually got an EFT, EFT2L Highlander tournament badge somewhere, but it's mine. You can't have it. Uh, so we can add, ooh, here's one. How about we add, not a golden wrench, how about a golden frying pan? Because that's the one that everybody wants, right? So I can just add a golden frying pan. Of course, what happens is that it spawns the frying pan and puts it in his hand, and it's already bound to the bone and everything, I believe. It's all ready to go. Uh, and if I was to manipulate the engineer's um, arm bone, the pan moves with it and so forth. It's very nice. You know, it automatically does that. It puts the weapon right in his hand, uh, and that's pretty cool. But I, said, uh, I specified a golden frying pan, and I did not get a golden frying pan, but that's just because I need to set the skin. So if you want to fool people into thinking you've got a, gold fr a golden pan, actually, don't do that. That wouldn't be cool. But you can spawn it in Source Filmmaker just by... Um, using that menu and you can add other items as well there's all kinds of stuff you can and you can add more than one of course i mean you can uh let's see you want to put bill's hat on him well then we should probably see this is another thing with the engineer and i, I talked about this in a previous uh, uh tip of the day you can uh, uh turn body groups on and off and in this case we're going to need to turn his hat body group off so that we can get bill's hat and of course we can change the skin of bill's hat a little bit oh i guess we can is there a way to change the color I know, there, I know it's paintable, but I'm not sure how to do that in Source Filmmaker. So that's something I'm going to have to look up and make another tip of the day. So very quickly, that's it, really. I mean, it's very, very quick and dirty today. Uh, it allows you to spawn all the Team Fortress 2 items that you want for your TF2 uh, models. Um, let me see. What else can I put on here? The Accursed Apparition. Uh, what does that do? Ah, that little ghost thing. So, yeah. If you want to uh, create posters with uh, your loadout, this is a great way to create your loadout posters uh, with any item that you have uh, and pose your uh, pose your your uh, your model the way you want uh, and spawn all the TF2 items and hats that you like, right to your little heart's content. So that's pretty much it. Uh, very quick tip of the day today, but I am pleased to be bringing these back to you on a semi-regular basis. Uh, as always, I am Jimmer Linz, and this is the Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you get a chance. Also, I wanted to mention I now have a Tumblr that I created. It's uh, jimmerlinz.tumblr.com, uh, and I don't know how frequently I'll be uh, posting there, but I'm going to try and keep it updated with not only the tips of the day, but with other stuff that I create, just you know, posters and, and maybe short videos and so forth as I, as I make them. So uh, give that a look and see what you think. Uh, and in the meantime, I look forward to bringing you the next tip of the day. Uh, and until then, have fun, be good, and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.